Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. This is your boy, Town Biz. All right, man. Check this out. All right. Um, I'm going to make this real quick and simple. Anybody come on here saying something slick and trying to disrespect me. If I don't cuss you out, I'm going to block you. We can have a disagreement. We can have a dope conversation. But I'm telling you right now, from this day forward, no name calling will be tolerated, especially towards me or no disrespect. The only person that's going to do name calling is me because you know why? This is my shit. And once again, if you don't like what I have to say, then maybe this isn't the channel for you. If you can't handle what I have to say, then maybe this isn't the channel for you. Go somewhere else. But once again, I say this. You will not disrespect me or my platform. If you can't handle what I have to say, then just don't comment. Thumb down the video. But if you say something slick, for real. But um, I, I want to talk about this. I saw this video like earlier this week. I happened to stumble across it. Now, I'm not subscribed to this dude's channel. But, you know, um, I was curious to see what this individual had to say in regards to one Bill Cosby. And like I said before, to you, Bill Cosby, apologists who think he can do nothing wrong in your eyes, then it is what it is. I'm not going to debate with you and go back and forth with you. I'm going to say this and I'm going to say this to where you understand me very clearly. I do not want Bill Cosby in jail. I wish Bill Cosby would get out of jail. Hopefully he gets out of jail because I think he has a parole hearing sometime in the near future. Hopefully they let the man go. Now, what that being said, let me talk about a interview that one Ernest Thomas did. In case you guys don't know who Ernest Thomas is, Ernest Thomas played Raj on the 70s, you know, coming of age um, comedy. What's happening? I'm pretty sure. Most of y'all know what that is because it's been in syndication forever. You can find it one way or another. You can even find bits and pieces on YouTube. I watched that show in syndication growing up. So I pretty much seen every episode. I think it ran for three seasons, three and a half seasons, maybe four. It was abruptly canceled due to some things that happened behind the scenes. When the cast got into it with basically the producers of the show over money and they felt that they was being you know lowballed as far as money go you know so they abruptly canceled the show but nevertheless uh Ernest Thomas went on to do a variety of different things they even rebooted the series back in the mid 80s they had almost 100 episodes i think it ran from 85 to uh maybe 89 but they had almost they had like almost 100 episodes, if I'm not mistaken. Close to it, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody can put how many actual episodes they had, but they had a decent amount of episodes. It ran like three to four seasons. But, okay. With that being said, he basically was talking about an incident that he had with Bill Cosby. Yes, another celebrity, another black celebrity got into it with Bill Cosby. And he basically was saying that Bill Cosby had some variety show. I guess it was on ABC. I never heard of it. It was called Cos. And they saying that the show uh, flopped. They asked them to make an appearance on the show. I guess because they was trying to help them boost the ratings. And, you know, uh, Ernest Thomas said that he did a movie I think with Bill Cosby and Sidney Poitier it might have been one of those let's do it again movies because I think they had like three additional sequels at least two if I'm not mistaken and he basically said that you know um the cast from what's happening I think it was him Haywood Nelson and Fred Berry he said that they saw Bill Cosby and they tried to introduce themselves to Bill Cosby and they said Bill Cosby basically walked right past them, didn't even acknowledge them. 
he basically treated them like they was nothing. And this is one of the many incidents that celebrities have said who had run-ins with Bill Cosby. At the end of the day, you Bill Cosby apologists can't always try to make it out to be somebody else's fault. Just like you had certain media people, or I ain't gonna say media people, certain YouTubers trying to play Eddie Murphy up against Bill Cosby, which is something that I never wanted to do, you know, and making it look like Eddie Murphy was off code for taking the shot at Bill Cosby on Saturday Night Live. But then I tell you, I know my history and ain't nobody going to come on here and I'm going to get a ain't nobody going to come on here and try to argue with me and tell me that I didn't see stuff and hear stuff about how Bill Cosby treated other black people behind the scenes. I've heard several incidents about how Bill Cosby act and treated black comedians, actors, and etc. And, and, and entertainers from rappers to actors to to you know certain athletes bill cosby always portrayed himself as the goody goody two shoes he he knows everything and like i said bill cosby didn't know how to lift up black people okay if you had an issue with how certain people did their comedy okay that's you but bill cosby like i said Everybody want to talk about how people off code for talking about Bill Cosby. But like I said, Bill Cosby, I like like I said, don't try to challenge my knowledge of this shit because I know what the hell I'm talking about. Bill Cosby was known for going on white media outlets and putting down other black people. But then you got people accusing Eddie Murphy and other people of not being on code. Like I said, Bill Cosby had a lot of people that looked up to him instead of him being like a a father figure and a role model, he was always attacking these people. He had something negative to say about Def Comedy Jam, had something to say negative about uh, hip hop, had something negative to say of, uh, about certain movies. I mean, he made a movie advertising that piece of shit movie, Leonard Part 6, that nobody went to see. That was one of the biggest flops in, in cinema history. He did a commercial saying... Oh, well, in this movie, you ain't going to see no profanity. You ain't going to see no sex and all this kind of stuff. So once again, he was always attacking black people to white media outlets. Now you tell me who was off code. And I double dare you to once again, come on my channel trying to disrespect me. Tell me that I'm lying because I got the receipts. I could pull up the receipts. But this is what a lot of people were saying. This is why a lot of people, let's just keep it 100, didn't feel bad for Bill Cosby when he went to prison. And that's unfortunate. I would, I would, didn't want Bill Cosby to go to prison. But like I said, he dogged out a lot of black people. And don't say that he wasn't talking about black people to white people. This is the 80s. This is the 90s. And the early 2000s. They didn't have no YouTube they didn't have these black media outlets like they have now. The only media outlets when Bill Cosby was was at at his highest was in the in the eighties, and you know all those platforms were white white ran media. So don't come on here trying to challenge me, especially if you some young some little snot nosed punk that think you know everything, because you can't tell me shit. I know what I'm talking about. And this ain't a video bashing Bill Cosby. The point that I'm trying to make is this is why certain people or a lot of black people didn't support Bill Cosby. Because they had bad experience with him. From Earthquake saying Bill Cosby put him down. D.L. Hughley said Bill Cosby put him down. You know, like I said, at the end of the day. You you know, it's a difference between critiquing somebody because you trying to help them, but then you just attacking somebody and putting them down and you acting like you better and you holier than that thou. Now, I do give Bill Cosby credit. Bill Cosby has since then, he's reached out to the younger generation, the guys that looked up to him, to the Snoop Dogs, to the, you know, those type of people. And I'm glad that Bill Cosby is reaching out to those dudes. Because Bill Cosby is going to need all the support he can if and when he gets out of uh, prison this year. Hopefully he does. I want him to get out. But I'm just, you know, 
I'm just relaying history and bringing this to people's attention. Bill Cosby is not a, a saint in this situation. I'm not talking about with, you know, the women thing and whether he did what people accused. Him. That's a totally different story. That's a totally different video. But I'm talking about his many run-ins and clashes with other black entertainers. Okay? So let me get this straight. Bill Cosby could say what he want to say about anybody. But if somebody say something about him, they off code. Fuck out of here, man. I mean, for real, get out of here, man. Like I said, Eddie Murphy has helped helped black actors and, uh, and you know, come up. Like I said, Eddie Murphy put all the all these black films together and gave black people jobs. Look what he did for coming to America, too. Did y'all see that movie? He brought Salt and Pepper. He gave Rick Rick Ross. Uh, a small role in a movie, you know, Wesley Snipes, and which, by the way, Wesley Snipes, it's a, tr it's a tragedy and a travesty that Wesley Snipes and Eddie Murphy couldn't find a way to work together when they was at the height of their careers. I mean, that, that that's just real talk. I would love to see a movie. My dream movie is to see a movie with Eddie Murphy Wesley Snipes, Denzel Washington, Will Smith, all in the same movie. And Martin Lawrence. If they somehow, some some way could make that work, that would be, like I said, that would be epic for black cinema. That would be epic for black filmmaking. If you can get all those dudes in the same movie. You know? So I'm just saying... I don't got nothing against Bill Cosby, but I'm just keeping it real, man. Bill Cosby shitted on a lot of his own people, man. I got history. Like I said, don't challenge me. Don't don't challenge me, youngster. Don't come on here calling me out my name. Yes, he did give $20 million away. That's cool. But... Like I said before, that doesn't take away from the fact of how he treated people. Like I said, the pound cake speech, like I said, Bill Cosby should have did more talking to people behind the scenes than publicly ripping them apart. I'm just keeping I'm I'm just keeping it 100. And this got to be said. It got to be said. Bill Cosby then had too many run ins with people that look like him. But the very people that Bill Cosby, you know, didn't always call out is the ones that tried to destroy him and ruin him. So I'm th so what I'm thinking is and what I'm saying is I think if Bill Cosby could rewrite or or do over some of the things he said in front of the camera or possibly behind the scenes of how he's treated other black uh, entertainers, I think he would redo it because I think he does regret it. And that's all I'm all, all I'm saying. And Ernest Thomas said in that interview with DJ Valerati, you know, Valerati, whatever, you know, DJ, you know, Cornball, that he was hurt and he was upset by that. And he said he didn't like Bill Cosby, which... That seems to be the thing. Join as like I said, you gotta ask yourself, damn, why is it only black people seem to have these horrible run-ins with Bill Cosby? Now, as far as white people go, you already know how they are. They'll turn on you in a second if it means more notoriety for them. Just like you know, that cornball Jud Judd or whatever his name is, Apato, only had smoke for Bill Cosby, but then you know, act like he just such a supporter of women's rights. But then when a black girl, you know, accused uh, somebody he knew of, you know, doing something to her, then they tried to make it look like she was a liar, you know. So I just wanted to put that out there. This needed to be said. Uh, thank you for listening. It's your boy Town Biz and I am out.